Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, UFO. First of all, I want to apologize you for my sore throat, but it doesn't matter. I wanted to do this video anyway, beside my horrible voice. Yesterday, when I was talking with my friend on Discord, he asked me if I can help him setting up a virtual machine using Libvirt and a Virt Manager. And then, after like 15 minutes, he asked me why don't you do a video about this. So here I am. In this video I'll be explaining you how to create a virtual machine on Libvirt using Virt Manager with a Virt.io drive and a Virt.io network adapter. First of all, I won't be explaining you how to make the entire Libvirt and Virt Manager installation. You can find the installation right there in the Arch wiki page. I'll be leaving this link in the description below. There it is, the installation part. But the thing I'll be showing you before the, we begin the installation is this UFI support, as you can see. If you want a UFI virtual machine instead of a legacy one, you have to add this line, this, uh, this part, this code, into your configuration file. I can show you right now. Theme adclibvirtcamera.conf As you can see, I have this line already in my configuration file. So if you want a UFI machine, a UFI virtual machine, we have to add this uh, line into the camo.conf and after you do this you have to restart the libvirt service so it will be sudo system cdl c cdl uh, restart libvirt service and restart the service but I won't be doing it right now and Mm, and the second thing, the second thing you need to make a, virt a virtual machine using the Virt.io drive, you need the Windows Virt.io drivers, and I'll be leaving both this and both this link in the description below. And from this this link, you download the uh, Virt.io drivers. So. After the introduction to the video, we can finally start Virt Manager. Oh, there it is, Virt Manager. And I'll be creating a new virtual machine, a new Windows 10 virtual machine. So create new virtual machine, local, local installed media, forward. I'll be using for this video Windows uh, 10 LTSC. So this is Windows 10 Enterprise. It's lighter than the normal one. It's it's like a lot lighter. It's one gigabyte lighter than uh, than the normal one. So forward. You can skip this part because uh, we'll be setting everything later. Forward. Forty gigs is enough for Windows. Forward. Network. I I will go with the default and uh, not one. And I will check this box. Customize configuration before install. Finish. I'll be changing the name. LTSC2, for example, apply, chipset, this is the most recent one, this is the older one, so Q35, BIOS, uh, the UFI, this is the line we added before, apply, CPUs, I have one socket, four cores and eight threads, I'll be giving four threads to this virtual machine, memory, let's go with four gigs, I don't care, SATA drive, and I'll be changing the SATA drive into a Virt.io drive, in this CD-ROM you have the ISO of your operating system you want to install. And I'll be adding another CD-ROM CD -ROM, containing the drivers for the, the, the network adapter and the disk. And this is the, the link, the second link, uh, the second page I showed you, the Virt.io drivers, which is volume. Apply, Nick, I can leave it on not, I don't care. And the device model. Virt.io also apply and everything is set up. No, the boot menu, enable boot menu, and I'll be enabling the first CD or or, or not. I think a uh, Virt Manager, the first time you start the virtual, uh, the virtual machine, it does start the first CD ROM, so I, I think we don't need it. Apply, begin installation. <coughs> Thank you. 
Word Manager is doing his his stuff. Not nope, it's uh, it's not working. Never mind. We have to shut down. Force off. Uh, boot options, boot menu, and the first CD-ROM apply. Now we can retry. Uh, I thought uh, it 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 wouldn't be necessary. Never mind. Just any 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 key. And this time, yeah, this time the installation is starting. <coughs> so let's go with English. Install now. I don't care. Setup is starting. Yeah. I accept the terms, of course. Custom install, and as you can see, we don't have any disk, right? Because we have to load the drivers for the Virtio virtual disk. So load driver, browse, and this is the second CD we added. Vio, Vio storage. Windows 10, 64 bits, OK. Next, Red Hat Virtio SCSI controller. It's installing right now. <coughs> and as you can see, the drive is now visible. So we'll be selecting this one. Next. And now we just have to wait for Windows to finish the installation process. Okay, Windows finally, finally finished his stuff, whatever he was doing. So, yeah, United States, I don't care. Just a moment. Oh, yeah, because we haven't waited for like 10 minutes just for Windows to install. Yes, US layout. I, no. Another moment. Oh, yeah because we have a lot of time to spend he can't see the network adapter don't worry we'll install the drivers later so skip for now no let's go with admin because we are original without password because we don't care about security no let us disable the bloatware, the useless stuff that Windows imply on you. Because this is complete garbage and we don't need this occasion, find my device, diagnostic data, why? Why I have to accept this shit? I don't I don't know. I don't understand Windows. Accept. Just a moment. Oh yeah. Oh hi! Hello, finally. Yes, of course, of course.
Okay, Windows finally has started, so the first thing we have to do is install the network guard drivers. Not a big deal, we just open the device manager. We go into the Ethernet controller, yes. Update drivers. Browse my computer. Browse, and we go into the CD we added before, the Virtio Windows CD. Ah, not like this, okay. The CD, we search into the CD, and there it is Network KVM. Let's open Network KVM. Let's us, let us pick Windows 10, 64 bits, OK. Next, installing drivers, yes, always trust Red Hat. Close. Y you know, why? Oh, and as you can see, we already have internet. So this was the first thing to do. The second thing, we can already choose a... a the full HD resolution, we can already do this, but as you can see the mouse is kinda jittery, right? So what we need is uh, our um, internet browser, Internet Explorer. Oh my god, this thing is so bad. <sighs> this thing is so bad, so bad. And let us... I don't care. And let us look for a spice a guest additions. <coughs> Download spice. This is the website spice. And if you if if you go a little bit lower in the page, you can see the GTK widget, other clients, and right there we have Windows guest tools. We download these tools. We run them, they are really light, they are only 10 megabytes, so nothing incredibly heavy. We run them. Yes. Next. I agree. Of course I agree. Come on Windows, it's not that hard, come on. You can do it. We can already exit Internet Explorer because this is so bad. Just have to wait. Oh, don't worry about those lines in the middle of the screen. Oh, finally. As you can see, the mouse is a lot smoother than before. At least I can see it's a lot smoother. Finish. I will be shutting down the virtual machine once to disable the boot menu because we won't need it anymore. So we can go. We can literally uh, remove the first CD-ROM, the second one, and we can also disable the boot menu. We won't need it anymore. Now we can restart the virtual machine. Go in full screen because we can. This time it should be a lot faster. I hope. Oh yeah, it was. And we can go into the settings. I don't know where it is, so let's let's go into the control panel because I don't know where it is. Uh, small icons. <coughs> I I still don't see it. So let's let us search for screen. Uh, power options, the color management, maybe there. I I don't think so. Let us search for. Screen resolution. Oh yeah, there it is. And I can change the resolution to full HD and even higher, so not a big deal. K 
keep changes and as you can see everything is working fine the virtual machine is is, is working fine everything is is fluid there it is my my file manager uh, winver you know uh, Windows 10 Enterprise everything is working fine and another thing I can do to obtain a little bit more performances is disabling the animations per, per performance we adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and I can just go for best performance apply and everything should work a little bit better because the animations are disabled and there it is everything is working fine so I can already shut down the virtual machine shutting down yeah come on and the virtual machine is, is complete it's working fine so I hope you you enjoyed this video I hope you all you, you know after following this video how to set up a virtual machine on virt manager with a virtio virtual drive a lot of v -v 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 in in this phrase but uh, doesn't matter if you like this video leave a like I don't know subscribe leave a comment below share this video with uh, other virtualizations uh, virtualization maniacs as I am maybe they are looking for a better virtualization method uh, instead of for example VirtualBox or VMware maybe they are looking for something open source free so they might like this uh, KVM camo virtualization using Virt Manager and this will be all for this video and I'll see you guys again in, in the next video bye bye